Now, this is the Fox 11 News at noon. The typhus outbreak is getting worse. The veterinarian joins us next with some advice on how to keep you and your pets safe. Uh, we're talking about some serious stuff here. The yes. number of typhus cases has now surpassed 100. Health officials in Los Angeles say 72 of those cases are in the L.A. area. Pasadena reported 20 cases. Long Beach had 15 patients. The disease can cause high fever and in rare cases, meningitis and death. It is spread by fleas carried by rats, possums and pets. So how can you protect yourself and Junior. your pet? <laughs> Junior and Bruce here. Yeah, well, the first thing is to make sure that you have good flea <laughs> prevention. Okay, let's introduce you before okay. we get to that. This is uh, Dr. Oscar Chavez. He's the chief medical officer for Just Food for Dogs. Okay, so as you were saying, the best thing you can do to protect yourself and your pets. Yes, the best thing to do is make sure they're on flea prevention because fleas carry it. Um, and also make sure that they stay indoors. Um, so typhus is usually found in like third world countries where, mm -hmm. where um, sanitation is not the best. And so the reason it's happening is because there's uh, trash buildup in these areas. And so um, as long as you keep them indoors and keep them clean and hygienic, then it shouldn't happen. It's one of the things you say, you keep, you keep the food uh, inside. You don't leave these big bowls of, of dog food outside that correct. people might sometimes do in their yard. Yeah, exactly, correct. You don't want to feed them out in the yard. You don't want them to be outside as, as, much, as less as possible, especially in these areas. Right, okay, and so it, we have a very festive table set up yeah. here. It's for a reason. So other uh, issues that we need to be concerned about as pet owners, uh, when it comes to candy around, we just had Halloween yep. a couple days ago, so what do we need to know? Yeah, absolutely. So this is way too much sugar for them. They'll love it, but it can cause gastrointestinal problems. It can, it can really make them a little bit too hyper, so just uh, stay away from candy altogether. Just, just, just like us, just like people. Yeah, yeah, chocolate's even worse, but usually milk chocolate won't really harm a dog, mm -hmm. but depending on their size, if they're really small, they can get harmed by it. What is really bad for them is, and might be around during the holiday season, is baker's chocolate. Uh -huh. um, and so the, the darker the chocolate, the worse. Interesting, oh, okay. okay. And then moving on to uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, what else do we need to be so, concerned about? So there's all kinds of great foods that are around during Thanksgiving. And what people want to do is they want to splurge for themselves, but then they want to give it to their pets too, right? And so we recommend that you do not do that. Mm -hmm. um, whole foods are great, but only as part of a balanced diet. Um, we have free recipes on our website if people want to check it out on justfoodfordogs.com. However, you want to stay away from things like grapes and raisins, for example, um, because these can be toxic to the kidneys. Mm -hmm. uh, onions can cause blood problems. Problems. Oh. And then uh, spices like cinnamon can actually cause gastrointestinal problems. Stay away from any processed meats. Some nuts are bad, so I tell people stay away from all nuts so mm -hmm. that you don't have to try to figure out which ones are bad. And then remember that coffee has the same ingredients as really dark chocolate, so you want to stay away from that as well. On to, on to Christmas and, and their holidays and, 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 leave and, the and New Year's. To me, yeah, right? people think yeah. it's funny to give their dogs uh, or pets a little bit of alcohol, but it can, it can make them disoriented, and in some cases it can intoxicate them. So. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, and then moving on to Christmas here. Yeah, so ornaments, right? Um, so here's Bruce, and he, he is 14 months old now, so he was a puppy last Christmas. So what we did is we actually, for, we, we didn't have a Christmas tree because these things can get stuck in their stomach and they can play with them and all that kind of stuff. Oh. Plus, they're attracted to the lights and sometimes they'll chew on the wires and puppies can get electrocuted from, from the uh, lights around uh, a tree. Um, and in poinsettias, obviously, that can give them some gastrointestinal problems. So this one's actually looks really real but it's fake, mm -hmm. um, you might yeah. want to go with those mm -hmm. instead. Or That's just keep idea. them off the ground. It, do you see these things? With, do, do, do pets come in after chewing on poinsettias? So I mean, poinsettias just... are like one of those um, issues that are probably over-dramatized. Uh -huh. um, they're not as bad, but they, on, a, on a small dog, they can cause GI problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I've just noticed since you've been talking, Junior hasn't barked at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he calmed he's down. He's more used to you than Junior. Me. Well, you know, one <laughs> other... One no other thing that happens for you. during the holidays is you have a lot of people over and the doorbell's ringing and dogs like Junior will be right. um, acting up. And so one thing that might be good for those dogs is a calming agent like what we have, which is Calm. Okay. Oh, okay, great. Dr. Oscar Chavez, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Just and dogs. Bruce, you're a big pup. Hi, baby. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back with Top Stories and... Our property. Yes. Going to the beach. Oh my gosh, you're going to jump on me, I can just tell. <laughs> He's going to take me down. He's going to take me down. Show off your pretty face. He's a big boy. Look at him. Uh -oh.